painting today. Oh, aye. Right. Yeah, I'm not that fussed about it, though. Nice one. Right, I'm off. You behave for Sam, young lady. Hello. Right, then, have a good day. I will. Shouldn't you have gone by now? Mm. I'm not in while later. Yeah, I'll be off in a bit. Oh. All right, then. See you, love. Yeah, bye, love. Dad, are you all right? Mm. Yeah, of course you am, love. Sorry, I'm late. Overslept. That's all right. Family breakfast sadly a joy these days, are they? Should we get on with it then? Right. Well, I've prepared some figures. Matthew's offer is based on what the company is worth in its entirety. Assuming you're both in agreement, we can set the wheels in motion. Decided not to be generous, then. Buying you out doesn't make me any richer, does it? You could always stay. No, thanks. F Looks like we've got a deal, then. No, 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 no,
Just curious, that's all. No need to sound so suspicious. Many apologies, it just comes from experience. Knowing you. I just wanted to make sure that my wife-to-be's big promotion is going to be well attended, that's all. Was that so surprising? No, no, probably not. So? Well... To be honest, we've not sold that many tickets. We're sort of open for a surge on the day. Forgive me saying, but that's neither use nor ornament. Suppose there isn't one. Your concern for our success does you great credit. This is what I am concerned. I'd better take this over. Try not some firm support, all right? OK. Yeah. Thanks. You are kidding me. Sharon is Val's daughter. Val might actually want her to be there. After the way things were between them last time. That was you and Sharon at the real bus stop. And your point would be? Um, an orange juice and a gin and tonic, please. It's just... Look, I don't want to hear any more than you do, but that's weddings, isn't it? Families who can't stand each other drinking to couples who'll probably be divorced before the second anniversary. It's what's done. Oh, it's very cynical, if you don't mind my saying so. 350, please. Uh, Diane does have a point there. I can't remember a single wedding I've been with. There haven't been at least two people not speaking to each other. Excuse me, ladies. Private conversation. Mm -hmm. Love us for bringing Thank you. Thank you. If we don't invite Sharon, she'll get the hump. And that'll make things worse for all of you, won't it? Well, if that is in fact possible, I'll admit it might. So, knowing she'll probably say no, we might as well ask her. And that'll help mend a bit of the broken fence. <sighs> yes, love? No, 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 it's just some of the Jimmy Norman deals with, that's all. Hey, 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 I'm on it. Look, if you would get off the phone, I could deal with it, couldn't I? Enjoy your freedom. Oh, come on. It doesn't have to be like this. You scupper our launch and expect me to come crawling back to you? How pathetic do you think I am? I did not scupper your launch. Well, somebody did. Yeah! Matthew! I don't think he quite did on his own. Do you? No, of course he flaming well didn't. He had help on the inside. I mean, are you blind or what? Who do you think that might have been? I've got to remember if you took sugar, Jimmy. Come on, Sherlock. Shouldn't be taking you this long. Oh, what, Matthew had a gun to your head, did he? No, he... Well, what, then? Come on, Lexi. Why would you do that to somebody that you're supposed to care about? He was blackmailing me. Let's just take things down a notch, shall we? What's going on? Meet our industrial spy. Meet the reason that our launch went up the Swanee. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So come on, Lexi. It concerns all of us. Matthew was going to tell Scarlett something I did when I worked at that club. Please don't ask me to tell you what, because I... Can't... Oh, don't worry about it. I couldn't care less. I don't believe a word you say. I tried to warn you. You can decide what to do with her. I'm going out for a bit. Where are you going? I'm going to see Matthew. Carl, hang on! Clear your desk. Now! At least give yourself a few minutes. Give yourself a chance to talk to him calmly. He blackmailed my girlfriend and tried to dump all of me business. Why would I want to be calm with him? Uh, thank you. I was wondering whether or not you thought about coming to the competition here next week. I haven't given it a great deal of thought, to be honest. Oh. Well, it'd be wonderful if you could lend your support. They're all working so hard to make it a success here. And wouldn't it be wonderful, our local one, don't you think? Yes. And then we could watch all the prices go up. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's your community spirit? Don't worry, Eric. I will be there. I'm not one to miss a knees up. And this one will be with me. Good. I am still here, you know. Oh, yes, so you are. <laughs> hey. Uh, Eric, a word, please. Uh, excuse me, ladies. Not your matters. This is for your best man. Oh, good heavens. Is all this really necessary? If we're going to do it properly... All right. 
I'm sure I can manage. What do you, what do you mean, manage? Did you not notice me use the term best man? I, I, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Oh, but I think you are. Uh, no, no, it's easy for you to say, but it's not you that has to go and ask somebody to do it. Just ask a friend. Uh, okay, ask somebody you know in passing, but you've too much to do without a best man. All right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Excuse me. I see your fiance is doing you proud. About what? He's been twisting our arm about coming next week. Has he? Yeah. Nice of you being so supportive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Another two supporting the local pub. Bless his little cotton socks. I had no idea how much she was doing for me. And she's no idea how much she's doing for him. Can you guess why I'm here? I couldn't possibly. I told him about Lexi. Blackmail? Blackmail on top of everything else? What's that, the icing on the cake? I'm your brother for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, and just lately you've really been behaving like it. And you have. What is it with you? I'm not the one who puts me trust in any old slap -roo bats or eyelashes at me. That's your MO, mate. I'm just taking advantage of the situation. So this is what? You're going to keep on punishing me forever? You betrayed us, Carl. I changed my job, and the reason I did that is because... Oh, I just don't get what it is with you. Is it that you can't help interfering? You can't try to control everybody, steer them all in the direction of planet miserable? Is that it? Just like Dad did? If it is, what are you going to do about it? Took me out of a window. Stop it. I can see where this is headed. You stop it right now. So you do this a lot then, do you? Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keeping an eye on the fishing stock, yeah, it's part of the job. What, catching fish? Yeah. yeah. So what happens when someone pays Mr King to come and fish here? I'm not following you, pal. Well, what if you've already caught all the fish? I'm up a little. Hey. Come on, Dad, I know something's up. This isn't gamekeeping, is it? This is finding something to do. Dad, have you been sacked? Uh, no. No, not sacked. But, well, I won't be uh, keeping for a while. Me and Matthew King... ...we've had a bit of a row. Carl! So what now? There is no what now. I'm not going to look for a way to get back at you. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'm tired of it. Aren't you? OK. You won. Well done. Now, try and get used to the fact that I'm not part of your operation anymore. You're not really going to stick with D'Souza, are you? Afraid so. Are you going to accept that, or are we just going to carry on like we always have been? I still don't get it. How come it was that bad that you had to walk out? There was a principal at State Love. Oh, well, um... You know that man was going to go spare, don't you? Well, I was hoping you'd keep that secret, you know, just for the time being. So what are you going to do? I'm weighing up a few possibilities. You've no idea, do you? Not right now, no. So then you need to tell her. You know what man's like when you keep stuff from her? The longer you leave it, the more mad she gets. You know, sometimes I wish you weren't so damn wise for your years. I'm sorry, but I can't help it. Chad said great things are expected of me. She says that's why my education's dead important. Well, that was odd. Sharon and I just had what might be termed a civilised conversation. Are you sure you didn't get the wrong number? Oh, no, no, it was her all right. Only, well, just polite. Ooh, it was quite unnerving. Great. So is she coming? Well, she genuinely seems to want to. It's not the same thing. No, but it's as close to a commitment we're going to get right now. She's Gora Lauren, she says. Well, it's a start anyway. Yeah. On the house. Sorry? You deserve it. <laughs> I do? Of course you do. I know what you've been up to. When you say that, you mean... Drumming up custom for next week. I want you to know how much I appreciate your backup. Thank you. Mm. Well... You have to try your best for the ones you love. Ah, you do. 
Is it being Mrs. Eric Pollard is going to be like? You can count me in all the way. Hello. Huh? Where's Belle? She's, uh, well, she's feeding Hermish. I, uh, I told her to give us a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Look, look. I think I better tell you that. Well, I've jacked my job in at home farm. You what? Well, I had a bit of a run in with Matthew King. And, well, I told him to stick it. When? Yesterday. Oh. And you thought you would tell me now? Don't start. Me. Don't you tell me not to start, Zach Dingle. I mean, what the hell did you go and do that for? What difference does it make? Well, the difference between going up there and getting your job back, that's what. Oh, no, no. No, you can forget about that, cos there's a principal at stake here. Oh, principal be beggared. You know, it's not just a case of men doing men now, is it, Zach? I mean, you... Well, we chose a path for our bell. That means that we have got to find money that we haven't got from time to time. And you, walking out in principle, that's not going to help on matters, is it? Yes. Hello. Oh, good heavens. Can't seem to keep you awake at the moment, can we? Yeah, I just wondered if you wanted a drink. Ah, uh, alas, no. There are things to do. But as you are here, there's a favour I need to ask. Yeah? Yes, it's been brought to my attention that I ought to have a best man. You know, these things have to be done properly. <laughs> Biggest, happiest, once-in-a-lifetime sort of thing. Not in your case, eh? <laughs> yes, all right, we'll gloss over that. Shall we, uh, are you up for it? Me? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, obviously, I'll be honoured. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Consider yourself bested. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, Dad. I'm proud to be a choice. Hardly a choice, was it? You or Paul. <laughs> No-one else knows about the wedding. Oh, and there's a... There's a, a list of... Need you to organise. Right. Thanks. Cheers. It is not just about me flaming pride. Oh, of course, it's not. Uh, I've never been any good at this clocking on, clocking off lark. I can't stand being beholden to anyone, especially the likes of him. Well, it's the likes of Matthew King that have the money to pay people the likes of us. I gave it a fair go, didn't I? You can't say that I didn't give it a fair go. I just need to be my own man again. All right, so I suppose I've got to go and work down that flaming hall of pollards to umpteen hours a week while you sit about doing nothing. I don't know why you two are making such a big fuss about it all. Oh, so you knew about it, did you? Yeah, Dad told me this morning. I was the one that told him to tell you. I was going to tell you anyway. <laughs> no, I was. Come on, Mum. We can manage until Dad finds somewhere else. There's no hurry, not with the school fees paid and all. Yeah, well, school fees or no school fees, we've still got to... Well. What? Go and see Hamish. I've just fed him. Well, go and give him some affection, show him how much you care about him. Just can wait till after tea, Dad. No, it can't! Bell, Hamish, now! <laughs> now, before you say out... <laughs> Flaming Nora! What can I say? This is a turn-up for the books. For as long as it lasts. If it doesn't, it won't be down to me. We'll see. Nah. No, all right, all right. It won't be down to me either. Who wants another? Uh, no, no. It's my shout. Same again, is it? I'll give you a hand. So? What? Me and him can put it behind us. You can at least think about staying. Oh, nicely asked. Make me feel warm over. It's not a marriage proposal. Well, maybe I still want to go. What do you want? I'll give you more autonomy in the business. What do you want? I'll think about it. So we'll see you there. I'll do my best. You trust him. For now. OK. Lexi's fired, by the way. We're on course, people! Oh, someone's in a good mood. Why not? Next week is going to be a big week! Oh, come on, love! Hey, we can't afford Bell's school fees. We sure as hell can't afford a new load of pots and pans. Oh! No, why is that? 
because you can't even do a simple job without breaking a grand's worth of equipment, that's why. I was only helping out to try and raise a few extra quid in the first place. Oh, yeah, and then what happens? You go and lose a whole lot flaming more, and what's worse than that, you lied to me. Oh, come on, though. No, oh, what? Come on, Zach, you flaming lied to me. Well, I'm sorry, then. <sighs> oh, sorry, what's good to that? I mean, that's not going to make anything better, is it? It's not going to get us have the money that we thought we had. What are we going to do, Sam? I don't know. But I know I'm not going to be beholden to the likes of Matthew King. Even if our bell ends up back at college and primary school. I'm sorry, but that is the way it is. Oh, sorry, Zach, that. that's all very fine. Right, well, you can go and tell your daughter how flaming well sorry you are. Well, just be glad she's put the pans down, Zach. At least you're safe for the moment. Now, tonight, no celebrity is safe from satire in headcases at 10.30. While next, Jerry gets a pretty unwelcome visitor to his bedside in the first of two Coronation Streets.